Today is a pretty cool episode because I bought a chainsaw and it doesn't run and we're going to try and get it going. Uh, it needs a few adjustments, a few bits and pieces, but it is pretty cool. So I'm just going to get stuck into it. All right. So for those who are interested, this is a McCulloch 610 Pro Mac electronic ignition cushion power. Um, I paid a hundred dollars for it um, on Facebook marketplace and he reckons it runs, but it needs some attention. So. I'm gonna give it all a big clean up, replace the fuel, replace the oil, and uh, see if we can't get it going, hey? Oh yeah. And it doesn't bloody go. God! <laughs> Alright, let's just keep trying. Alright, time to start it up. Let's see what happens. the bench. Looks in every way possible. Come here. So this fuel line is at the top of the chainsaw. All right. I've got all the screws to get this side off. So we're going to Ah, it's there. So that's the end of the fuel line. And it's busted. All right, I'm going to replace this part here, um, and then try again tomorrow. Howdy, new day, and I've got new fuel line, new bung. So this is all good. So we're going to start. Resettling the chainsaw and hopefully we're on. Oh, look at that. Bit of light. Oh, that's right. <coughs> we'll, um, reconnect the new fuel line, which is not in. God damn it. Just easy bit. Take two, let's do it. Gonna have to have a look at the spark plug, I think. Ah, yep, getting spark. <laughs> yep, <laughs> getting spark. I mean, I used the spark plug from the car, so let's see if I can uh, spark out of the actual spark plug. No spark! Alright, I need to go to the shop again. We're gonna get a spark plug. Alright, the new spark plug is installed. Is there something else in here? This might be it. Alright, let's give it a go. This fucking thing. Alright, I've done a little bit of throttle adjusting. I've never done it before, but basically I've, I've screwed them all. Yeah, anyway, I've done a bit of throttle uh, carburetor adjusting. Um, let's, let's see, Let, I don't know. Maybe, just maybe, I'm still not getting fuel. This is blocked. I think I've bought a Carby rebuild kit for this thing anyway, which, come in a couple of days, but let's just have a look, huh? Because it's definitely not getting fuel through this thing. So I definitely think that there is a blockage in this. There's definitely a blockage because I'm not getting any push through it, even with the throttle open. So, like on the whole hog, we're pulling this thing to pieces. Aha, okay. You. Okay, so. Alright, so. Come on. Alright, so. You see this little float here that's rocking? That wasn't rocking before. Um, I know there's meant to be gear oil in this, so um, I'll probably have to, just have to go and buy some and buy the gaskets if it doesn't come in the kit. But I've just managed to get that to move again. So. 
Um, we'll put the float little thing back on. We'll reinstall these gaskets because if it runs for five minutes, no big deal. Delicious. All right, let's. Uh, I'll reassemble this for the car and we'll see what happens. Onto the car, I said. Far out. <sighs> Alright, let's well, whatever take this is, take four. Hmm. <gasps> oh baby! Ready? <laughs> okay, I am. Um, I'm gonna tune it properly. Um, so I'm going to be doing some research and then try and work out how to tune this thing. See if I can't get it running good. But part one's done. So thanks for watching. I can't wait. <laughs> this is so cool. I can't believe I got it going. Anyway, I'll see you. I'll see you later. Bye.